it all started in New York City for both of you. You're not both from there, but that's where you both that's came where, from. That's where we met and where we left from, yeah. There's the, I'll show on, the tote, on the tote. But he's this wearing like it a as little, well. Your grocery tote or trade show tote. There is like New York City on the bottom of that tote. I don't know if that's in focus, but um, New York City and then yeah. down through, up through Africa and all the continents. And then it kind of goes over the top with this little pollen and, you know, birds fluttering across over to, uh, to Russia and then down through Asia and your guys' home country and then Antarctica down there on the bottom. So with us kind of tracking them. And this idea, this one is called uh, Global Hive and it's this idea of kind of like cross-pollinating ideas. So if you look at the, the detail, it's, it's incredible with like kind of various honeycomb designs and blossoming flowers and pollen that spreads. And, and really it goes back to just like how much we've learned from slow travel. And, you know, as you go, you're gaining new ideas and taking sort of the kindness from strangers with you and passing it along and, and kind of making ecosystems better as you go. So uh, we're very, you know, we're real environmentalists at heart and like, you know, and truly kind of thinking about honey trek and the role of the bee actually as, um, you know, vital to all our ecosystems and this idea of just like, you know, pollinating and making things grow. And, and so it kind of had a lot of resonance. So we embraced sort of the bee side, um, which was, which was fun. And a cool thing on this design, this one we call the global hive, like Anne said about, you know, learning and, and kind of just, sharing ideas and, and love all around the world. And what we're doing for every every bundle we sell of this, we're gonna take 10% of the profits and give to an organization called Flight, which is all about helping inner city kids that might not be fortunate enough to fly around the world or study abroad or you know go on trips with their parents to help them uh, get, get out internationally and meet new cultures and kind of break down barriers or stereotypes that they might have of and other cultures. And to bring cultures. that home and sort of, sh you know, cause it's, when you as a traveler, like you, you carry that with you wherever you go. So when they go home to their community, maybe not everyone has, they bring a new set of ideas to the table that I think is really valuable. And so flight is just one, one charity. Each one has their own charity. 